This is the teacher guidance then for the Democracy and Dictatorship introduction with the brain teaser at the start. Marie's father has five daughters. I listed there who's the uh, fifth daughter. It's Marie. Move. Democracy and dictatorship then. The objectives and the outcomes. What is a democracy? What is a dictatorship? So the students will have completed an odd one out quiz and used the information gained to write a definition for each word. They will have then ranked a set of modern countries in order of how democratic or how much of a dictatorship they are. The extension task is to further research uh, the countries that are provided in order to add additional information to the information that's provided and also challenge the question as to how democratic Britain is and then possibly how democratic is the world in which we live in. So starter, which is the odd one out and why? So we have uh, Churchill, Stalin, Hitler, and Mussolini. And of course the answer is that Churchill is the odd one out because he is the only democratically elected leader out of those that were listed. The others are all dictators. Again then, we have got uh, protest, uh, violence, voting, and freedom of speech. Out is violence, not part of how a democracy enforces its law. People are often tortured or killed for criticizing governments in a dictatorship. In a democracy, you have the right uh, to vote, to speak, and of the right to protest. Incidentally, this is the picture of Mussolini, who was in the original question. This is um, taken, I believe, in Milan at the end of the war when he is captured along with his mistress uh, by, by resistance fighters and he is uh, beaten to death and hung upside down and his face quite literally has been pulverized. And then we have um, four flags, which is the odd one out, the Soviet Union, Vietnam, China and the United Kingdom. Which one is the odd one out? It's the United Kingdom. Only one there that is a democracy. All the other three ships. And then North Korea, Iraq, Cuba, and Vietnam. Odd one out being Iraq. Despite what they might remember and what they might know, the attempt is actually at the minute to build a working democracy in Iraq whereas the other three remain dictatorships. So that's a more challenging one based upon their understanding of the world. So in your own words, answer the two questions in a full sentence. What is a democracy? What is a dictatorship? Extension task in no more than 10 words. Explain what the difference is between these two types of countries. Then we have a def uh, definition of a democracy and students should reflect upon their uh, initial definition and obviously add and amend for a dictatorship. Okay, then the principal task of the lesson. Now, um, this is hyperlinked as well to other videos that explain in more detail should you actually want to run a video to introduce this task rather than just uh, go through it with the class yourself. The idea is then using the handout that the students are to arrange uh, in order and possibly to scale uh, the countries listed from being the most democratic to the least democratic. Initially they're advised to um, read the information on both countries and sort them into two distinct piles, one for a democracy, one for a dictatorship, by uh, scan, scanning and skim reading for key words and information in the text provided. Once they've identified them into two piles then they can arrange them according to scale and of course their own knowledge. Ideally, they should then place them on the line and provide an explanation for why they are on the line and where maybe why they are ahead of one and behind another country. And then, of course, make sure that their work is labelled with a title and an explanation of what it is that they um, are showing. The extension task, obviously, they may have prior knowledge about any of the countries. They can add that on as well. If they can arrange this according to scale rather than just an, a hierarchy, of most democratic to least democratic. Each of the texts um, on each country that you're provided with comes with a QR code. 
And that links to the BBC uh, fact file about those countries, so that should be kept up to date. And then obviously anything they know about that country, contemporary information, they can add that. Okay, some examples of what the students have done in the past, and again, these are hyperlinked to um, videos on YouTube, so they're narrated. All right, think about how the information is presented. And again, so some kind of AFL and reflection checklist here. Okay, then an extension task again. By using online rankings, so um, for example, hyperlink to Wikipedia, type in uh, global rankings, global listings, have as an extension task the opportunity to explore how democratic is the country that we live in ourselves. So how democratic is Britain? Where does Britain appear on all of these rankings? Things like um, ease of doing business, uh, freedom of the press, uh, the democracy index. And it might have come as a surprise to see that Britain isn't as highly ranked as maybe the children might anticipate. And that often smaller, wealthy, and in many places, northern European or Scandinavian countries are ranked much higher than our own and get them questioning, well, what is it that places Britain so much further down the list than maybe they had anticipated? And then the bigger question, how democratic is the world that we live in? So here's um, uh, a slide here, the picture from the Economist's Democ Democracy Index for 2008, identifying in lighter colours the most democratic to the deepest, darkest colours the least democratic and some level descriptors in order to be able to pin some form of level of assessment on this particular.